Shall we go onwards to On the Rocks then? Shall we? When is a relationship drama rooted in infidelity not a relationship drama rooted in infidelity? When it's an excuse to spend 90 minutes with Bill Murray in affable dad mode, that's when. (laughs) On the Rocks is the latest from Sofia Coppola, reuniting Murray and Rashida Jones, his co-star from 2015's A Very Murray Christmas. I can't believe that was five years ago now. That's nuts. (laughs) As father and daughter in a somewhat slight tale of a marriage that is, well... On the rocks. Jones's Laura is a writer suffering somewhat predictably from block, while her husband Dean, Marlon Wayans, is preoccupied driving the success of his Manhattan business and, Laura suspects, nobbing his PA Fiona. Initially dismissing her suspicions as a byproduct of her own frustrations, Laura finds her father Felix, Murray, and aging Lothario himself, dumping fuel on the fire of her worst fears and employing his formidable network of contacts, both foreign and domestic, in unsolicited fashion to dig deeper into Dean's extramarital activities, such <laughs> as they may be. That which ensues might not be described as hilarity, nor outright comedy, but there is certainly plenty of levity in what turns out to be a surprisingly lightweight study of cross-generational insecurity. Despite her protestations, Laura becomes an all-too-willing participant in Felix's antics, joining her father on an adventure of sorts across Manhattan and ultimately to Mexico, an adventure which is part Hardy Boy's amateur detective antics, part reckoning with her father's own history of infidelity. I actually really like On The Rocks as an idea, and I like a couple of aspects in execution. Murray and Jones's chemistry goes down pretty easily, and for the most part, it's enough just to spend time in their company. Their relationship is entirely believable, and their motivation sympathetic, even if their occupations and circumstances reek of the kind of social naivety that could only come from someone who hasn't ever occupied what the rest of us might consider reality. Marlon Wayans acquits himself pretty well as Dean, imagine my surprise, displaying enough by way of likeable character traits that we desperately want him not to be playing the field, but maintaining enough ambiguity that we might never really be sure. Unsurprisingly though, it's mostly Murray's show and his kind of work is something he really inhabits now. To an extent there's a real possibility he will ultimately be remembered by movie fans as much for this kind of character work as for his 70s and 80s comedy output. Felix is, perhaps annoyingly, an incredibly charismatic guy and if he's mostly just Murray doing Murray then that's kind of alright because it's what the material requires. The problem with On The Rocks for there is a big problem, is that this is the only check it really has to cash. As I said before, I really like the father-daughter road trip detective story as a concept, but Coppola's script makes way too little emotional investment to claim any kind of ultimate payoff. The complete lack of gravity as Laura and Felix finally confront the latter's own history is quite an achievement in itself. It's a brief conversation that kind of ambles along, is addressed with a shrug and a sigh, then is gone again in short order so that everyone can smile affectionately and be on their merry way. It ought to be a moment of emotional reckoning worthy of the stunning Mexican coastal setting. But it's not. Frustratingly, it leaves one with the sense that there wasn't any real point to the whole thing other than to spend time with good friends. And that's sometimes enough, by the way. But it could have been something so much grander and more resonant. Fortunately, at a whiff over 90 minutes, including credits, On The Rocks falls comfortably into our box labelled Movies That Do Not Outstay Their Welcome. And I appreciate that Coppola has respected my time. I'm not going to tell you not to watch this movie because I quite liked it in spite of its beach ball in a hurricane levels of emotional <laughs> emotional heft. But go in knowing that you'll neither laugh your ass off nor cry your eyes out. Yeah, it's very lightweight. It, it absolutely is. And frustration is a good word, Craig. That, you know, you kind of wish they... There's a few frustrations. Yeah, perhaps they should have explored the the impact of... Bill Murray's character's infidelity considerably mm-hmm. more, or possibly at all, rather than just paying it lip service. Although, curiously, in the moment, I didn't think about it so much. In fact, I didn't think about that so much until about two minutes ago when you spoke about it. Mm. <laughs> and yeah, there's some other frustrations too. It's like, yeah, actually, surprisingly for anybody with a surname Wyans, <laughs> Marlon Wyans is, is reasonably engaging in that. But it's kind of frustrating. There's like, is he supposed to be like a successful businessman? He's presumably not a stupid person, mm. but he's apparently completely innocent um, that there would be any reason his wife would consider the, the problem that he has women's belongings in his bag. It's like, really? 
he, he's that stupid. Mm. No, mm. Like that that just that seemed like it was convenient for the plot, which is a bit of a frustration, really. Uh, again, using that word frustration. However, I was basically there for the Bill Murray, and the Bill Murray delivered. So I just thought he was on fine form. I found it incredibly entertaining. I just I could have watched Bill Murray doing this basically forever, and yeah. Bill Murray's um, remembered more for this sort of role than his seventies and eighties comedies. I'm very much on board with that because I prefer in these hundred percent. Yeah. So basically, for me, this was the Bill Murray show. I mean, Rashida Jones, I like a lot. She's nice, and there was good chemistry between her and Bill Murray. That's great. But I was here for Bill Murray. He delivered, and I was very, very happy about that. So that's fine. It's, like, <laughs> it's it's very, very throwaway. I doubt I'd ever watch it again. Mm. But I'm glad to watch it this one time. I laughed quite a lot. Bill Murray, I could just watch endlessly. Um, which is why I'd recommend it. Yes, uh, th- I boringly also rather enjoyed this. It's a very likeable film. I think I was only slightly disappointed in as much as I'd heard some people throwing about the inevitable comparisons to um, Lost in Translation just mm. purely because of the director and the cast. And it's, it's nothing like as emotionally complex or involving as that no, film no, it could no, be. No. No, nowhere near it. And it, uh, to be fair, it's not trying to be. Um, and it's got a script that is not particularly strong, but I still appreciate the way it was executed because you can see that there's only a, a couple of twists on the uh, screenwriting dials before you get into just like out and out ridiculous rom-com territory, which would have been you know, a disaster for, for it. Um, but the way it's kind of scaled back to something that's almost believable um, makes it kind of work and just fit into the kind of nice area of just being a Bill Murray experience and uh, mm. uh, Richard Harry Jones is more than capable of uh, bouncing off that and providing the in large parts the straight man to uh, Murray's antics and it works it's just nice I'm not going to probably think about this film ever again um, but I very much enjoyed my time with it and it's I think I would recommend it to anyone it's a, it's a nice little likeable and experience for 90 minutes as you say doesn't outstay its welcome and it's perfectly enjoyable when you do so um, that's probably enough in this time <laughs> <laughs> in this current time if, but, if, yeah. I, if I have a problem it's that, it's that it does enough to get by and that and that's fine and it's perfectly enjoyable as it is it's just really frustrating to think that it could have been so much more I feel like some of the conversations between uh, Rashida Jones and Bill Murray's characters only really need to go maybe a level deeper yeah. um, for this to be something much more substantially sort of emotionally um, pertinent. Less but, lightweight and flyaway. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. keep that comedic high, but then, yeah, as you say, just a, a level lower, just that, that yeah. kind of just cuts in a bit. Yeah. And then you, I think you could have something potentially quite special because it would have so much more impact because... yeah. It never the goofiness it, of everything that Bill Murray's doing, like sent, cause it's, it's verging on farce at times, which yeah. is not a genre I particularly care for. But sitting outside the club, spying on Marlon Wayans in a bright red Alfa Romeo <laughs> Spider yeah. from the nineteen sixties, and mm. apparently nobody noticed them. <laughs> it never, it never pins Felix down, and I think that's its, its biggest crime because essentially this is a film about this film is driven because Rashida Jones's character Laura, um, quite early on, is sort of demonstrates that she's sort of willing to put aside these fears that she has that her husband um, might be having an affair. She kind of dismisses them and it's the entire plot is driven actually by Felix and it's his cynicism of the situation presumably fueled by his own past that that propels things forward and I feel like he's never really held to account for that all that much um, and it really needs to pin that character down and there needs to be some sort of resolution there but then we never really get to understand at more than a surface level, the dynamic between uh, Felix and his daughter, um, and how that relationship has has shaped shaped her as well, and it feels like there's something much more substantial to be had if only Coppola was willing to scratch just a little bit below the surface of what she's she's written, but. At the level at which the film performs, like you say, like I'll happily spend as much time as you want in the company of Bill Murray doing this version of Bill Murray because it's just, uh, I don't know that the word's magnetic, but just really sort of affable and just just really, really good company. And some, yeah. and sometimes that's enough and it's, it's fine for it to be enough. It's just kind of frustrating that given... Some of the uh, some of the output that uh, has been forced upon us recently um, by current global circumstance, there's been a lot of disappointments, and so to see something like this come along that could have performed at a much higher bar than it does is is just a little bit of a letdown. But that is not to say that I didn't enjoy it. I still think it's a a pretty good film for what it is. <laughs> 